Oh, Zachary. Zachary. Zachary Cor Corcoran. How are you, my man? Hope you're going to enjoy this time and this uh, video that has been made for you. You know, I got to know you best in middle school. And uh, you've done it well at First Baptist Church. You're going to be coaching. I think that's a perfect spot for you with young people. And you'll be a great role model for them as you have been at First Baptist Church. Love you, man. And uh, you take care. Thank you so much of all you've done. Hey Zach, thank you so much for everything that you have done for FBC Youth. We love you and we will miss you and we wish you the best of luck in your next chapter. Hey Zach, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support you've given me through the couple years that I've been in the youth and supporting me in my daily walk with Christ or supporting me in soccer, school, etc. I'm going to miss you so much. Hey Zach, I just wanted to let you know that Miss Francis still wants you to take your shirt off and that I love you and I'm good. What's up Zach? We're going to miss you. Thank you for being my great friend and good minister and always being there for me whenever I need you. Thank you. He's been a great mentor throughout my life and a great friend and I wish him the best of luck at Pacelli. Zach, I'm so happy that not only were you my soccer coach, you were also my youth pastor. You encouraged me to do so many things that I would never have done, like go to Passport and the ski trip and just everything that you've helped me with throughout the years. I can't thank you enough. You are awesome. You are amazing. Thank you for teaching me how to play spike ball. I can never repay you. I love you. Hashtag peace home forever. Hey Zach, um, I really wish I was there to help send you off, but um, I'm here training for Passport and I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done for me and the youth group. You're always really welcoming, inclusive, you always make the environment fun for everyone. So I just want to say thank you and I can't wait to see where you go um, in this journey of your life. Thank you for being there for me. You're the best. I like Zach because he is my friend. Hey Zach. I want to thank you for your ministry and for what you mean to me and your friendship and uh, hope that everything goes well with your coaching and your teaching. Take care, buddy. Zach, it's been great to watch you grow up and mature and I know you're going to be a great coach and you're going to excel in all that you do in the athletic area. Hope that things go well in, uh, in your coaching and at Pacelli and uh, look forward to seeing what happens in the future. Good luck, buddy. Hi, Zach. They asked me to do this because I'm the only one that's old enough to remember when you were a cute little boy. It's been a pleasure to watch you grow up. It's been uh, a lot of fun. Uh, we've had some experiences together. Now that you're leaving us, I want to wish you the absolute best. If you ever need something from an old has-been judge, just give me a collar. God bless. Zach is awesome. He's cool. And me and him went on an airplane together from, from Columbus to Auburn on my birthday. And we went to a pizza place downtown that was two large pizzas. They were two, we didn't realize how big they were until after we ordered them. We couldn't eat it all. It was pretty good. We put it in the, in the refrigerator and over in the yab. It was pretty funny. And um, hope you have a good day today. And this is from Oliver. And um, hope, you, hope your new um, venture and your new job goes well. And, um, and I think you're awesome, Zach. Okay. Hey, Zach. Hey. We're winging this. So we don't think we need to send in a video. No, we think you already know that we're besties. You know, like why would we even need to express our love? You know we love you. And we're thankful for our like two years of interim Zach Conference. Yeah, all the spike ball. Even though we didn't like get to hang out with you as much as all the other youth. And uh, never getting invited on road trips, but then finally getting invited on one when I'm working with your dad. Thanks for that. Yeah, if you get invited to one and you say no, you never get invited again. Yeah, Lesson so that was learned. My only chance. My only chance. All right, well. Out the window. Okay, love you. Love you. See you around. <laughs> Probably Bye. not. Bye. Hey, what's up, Zach? I just want to let you know that 
I really appreciate what you always do to me, like take me home, you always pay for my food, and you always make me laugh, and you're a great person to be around with, and I hope I get to continue hanging out with you some more, and thank you, and I want to be just like you when I grow up. What up, Cochran? Uh, Zach, we just want to thank you for everything you've done for us and First Baptist. Um, on Sundays, you'd open the gym for us. Rhinos versus Dinos. Go Rhinos. Highly contested. Dinos. Go Dinos. Sorry I had to block you that one time. I still feel a little bit bad about it. <laughs> uh, um, also, the fun times we had after Wednesday Night Live. Dino dancing was weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we scarred that one guy for life. Uh, I'll never forget uh, when we all went to Haiti and you literally survived off of cliff bars. That was like the funniest thing ever. Probably pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> um, yeah, but good luck at Pacelli. We know, I mean, we've been out of the youth group for a minute, but we know that they're going to miss you and we also know that you're going to do great things over Go there. Go Vikings. So. You and Legree, baby. That's Coach. True. That's big Coach time. Legree. But yeah, we love you and we hope you have a great time at Pacelli. My name is Nolan, and this is Wood Boy, and this is, we're interviewing each other. <laughs> Wood Boy, what has that meant to you, Cochran? Uh, he, he's really just been a role model in my life, and more than that, just a friend and a real good leader in our church, and we're always here and just love him, and just, yeah, a good friend and a role model. model. What is, uh, <laughs> what does that mean to you, Nolan? Well, he's not only my youth minister, but he's one of my closest friends. He's worked out together for a while. We got yoked. We've been on trips together, and he's, like I mentioned, not only one of my, my youth minister, but one of my greatest friends. Well, boy, what is your favorite memory with Zach Cochran? I think my um, favorite memory with Zach Cochran is whenever uh, we went on that hiking trip, and me, Zach, and Tyler woke up. Well, I was already awake, but at the sunrise and walked to the top of McAfee Knob to see the sunrise over there. It was really, really beautiful and got to spend a good time with that. Nolan, what's your favorite memory of that? Well, I liked when he picked me up from school when I was in middle school on the bike. And then we made the uh, videos. And I also just liked a lot of the trips we took together. Thank you, Zach. We love you. Zach, we're gonna miss you so much. Thanks for everything. Love going eat at Barb's with you. Love you. Hey Zach, it's Thomas and Kate. Um, we love you. And uh, me and you gotta go wheeling together. I wanna work on your Jeep with you. And um, I don't know. I love everything about you. Uh, Kate. Um, well, I was just gonna say um, a few of our memories together because obviously we're pretty tight, we're bros. Um, <laughs> um, I love, or I loved going on the hiking trip and um, the camping and stuff it was really fun. And our handshake is the best thing ever, obviously. And um. We really miss you over here in Macon. <laughs> so, um, come visit us or if you want to. I mean, uh, <laughs> but yeah. We love you, Zach. You made the world to us. Bye. <laughs> what do you do? Yo, Zach. Shout out to probably my oldest friend that I have. Uh, flashback earlier this morning to, uh, when my grandparents would pick us up from school and we would hide out in the back of their station wagon eating all the candy so that they wouldn't find us. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, I hear you're leaving First Baptist for Pacelli. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm so proud of the man that you've become. Um, it's been an inspiration and encouragement to me and my walk with the Lord to see um, how he's used you at First Baptist. And I know he's going to continue to do the same at Pacelli. Uh, you've already impacted so many lives, um, and you're just going to get to continue to do that there. Uh, so, proud of you, man. Love you, dude. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you next time I'm in Columbus. Zach. Hello. Hey, buddy. 
You're retired, man. You're retired. You must be tired. He's the goat. He's the goat. <laughs> we wish you were here, man. Eating some bangin' for tacos. Pat. Pat's classic. Classic Pat. Classic. <laughs> All right, man. Well. Hey, man. Good luck. We love you. Good luck in life, man. You're going to need it. <laughs> hey, buddy. I've been sitting here staring at my phone for like five minutes trying to figure out what to say and kind of tired of looking at myself. So um, there's not really much I could say that would encapsulate all of our years together because I'd, I would be leaving something out. Um, there are probably some things that I need to leave out for the sake of this conversation anyway. Um, but I just want to say congratulations, man. This is a huge day and it's funny to look back on the times, um, not only that you and I have been through, but through the when you started working for the church to where you are now. Um, when I first heard you tell me that you're going to work for the church, I thought, man, this this is, did he get court ordered to do this by a judge or something? Like, is this his is this his sentence for all that we did throughout our years um, at the youth group? And um, man, I just I just want to say. Uh, that I love you. You're awesome, and um, I feel like another big brother to you. And um, just getting to see you grow, and to see you um, faithfully love and serve the church that that um, loved and served us, even when we didn't love and serve it. Man, you have turned around and given back um, threefold to that church, and it's been awesome to to watch you grow and to watch you mature, and to watch you love on those kids. Man, I know. Um, I, I can just think of all the stuff that we put Bistro through in the years. You know, we probably aged him by like eight or ten years. And man, you turned around and wanted to give right back. And so I think that says a lot about your heart. Um, it says a lot about your family too, man, that, that they encourage you to do this and that um, you had a good upbringing. Your, your folks showed you how to do it and to, to love and faithfully serve. And um, man, I'm just proud of you. I'm happy for you. There are a lot of memories that I could share, but uh, for the sake of your reputation and this being the last day that you're there, a celebration, I'll uh, leave those. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't have to even say it out loud. Um, I just want to let you know that I did get permission from my mom to um, send you this video. She forbade me to spend time with you in person, so this is the only way that I could reach out, but it is approved by Kelly Class. Um, anyway, buddy, I love you. I'm happy for you. Um, I'm excited to see this next chapter of your life. And uh, just love you, bud. Enjoy the day. Good morning, Zach. Just want to let you know that I love you. Um, I'm super proud of you and all the time and dedication that you put into the church. Uh, I think one of the most cool things is I don't think I ever would have been baptized if I had never met you. So that just speaks volumes on the influence and impact that you have on others. Uh, we're super proud of you on your steps moving forward. Um, I met you at Pacelli and now we're working together at Pacelli. So we know we're, you're gonna do great things. And um, if you ever need anything, I'm just one bedroom over, so come holla. Love you, bye. Good afternoon. You know, we all know what a fun, loving, and adventuresome guy Zach is. I've been down whitewater rivers with him, down ski slopes and played some mighty mean basketball over the years. But I've had a chance to see parts of Zach that not all adults have been able to witness. I've sat outside the door of the Yab and listened on Wednesday nights as Zach has read scripture and given practical advice on how to apply that in our kids' daily lives. I've seen him meet with numerous kids from our church and from other places to give advice when they were in a bind or just needed some instruction. And I've also seen Zach in the middle of the night in times of crisis show up at people's homes and just to be with them and to, uh, to love them. And for me, I can just say that I feel so fortunate that my two boys grew up uh, with Zach involved in their lives, and I know that they are definitely going to be better men for the time they have spent with him. So, Zach, you're an amazing young man, and I truly love you very much. Zach, I want to add my words of gratitude 
to all the others that will be spoken today because of all the good work that you've done for us here. I've watched you grow up. You're practically part of our family. And I've watched you through the years become the man that you are now. You've defined your life. You've figured out what it is you want to do, and yet you've not lost the fun that's there. You came into our lives here when Brandon was here in order to work here and be a part of the things that took place, and you made a difference. And then when Brandon left, you filled that gap and did it in a beautiful way. And then when Daniel came, you were part of the transition and helped make that work well. So I'm very grateful to you for what you've done. And pray Godspeed on you as you go into that which you were called to do. The teaching of those children, the coaching, and continuing the adventure of life. Know of our prayers, our love, our continuing support, and we still want you involved as much as possible in the work that's done here in this church. But thank you for being a part of it all. Hey Zach, we just want you to know how super proud we are of your ministry at First Baptist Church and all the love that you've shown to so many people. And we are so, so proud of you. We're excited about your new endeavors and we know that and our prayer is that God will continue to use you in mighty ways as you go forward. Um, just know of our love for you and once again how proud we are of you. You've heard it a thousand times, but I gotta say it, always make good choices. We love you, Uncle Zach. We love you, Zach. Hey, Zach, thanks for all you did. Bye. <laughs>